here's my 1996 Chevy Cavalier LS it's a 2.4 liter twin cam engine in it um, I had to add this stripe to it because the paint was pretty messed up somebody wrote bitch on the hood <laughs> and uh, where that black round circle is there and the paint was all messed up so I painted over that uh, as you can see it's got that uh, din in the side of it right here but uh, I only paid uh, $400 for it at auction when I bought it and uh, right now I have maybe $100 in repairs and you know I also include the gas that I spend in it uh, so about a hundred dollars in it so approximately 500 in it right now I'll spend probably another hundred dollars on you know other repairs like uh, getting the exhaust re-welded back up I had to punch a hole through the uh, uh, catalytic converter so uh, it would uh, smooth out because they tend to clog up and go bad uh, let's see what else did I do I also had to replace uh, the spark plugs and uh, the coil pack housing the plastic housing on it but you know it's a pretty decent car it does have the aluminum rims instead of the steel rims to it it's a four door i kind of prefer the two doors but uh does have a higher performance engine in it does have a little bit of rust down here in the bottom and on the other side too But it's not so bad in the corners, really. I mean, just that one spot. If you don't look down there, you don't even hardly notice it. All right. I guess we'll start it up and take it around the block. Hopefully, by the time it's all said and done, I'll only have 600 in it and hopefully flip it for 900 to 1,000. light does stay on because it does have an occasional miss in it but uh, I'm gonna do a uh, redneck fix on that and that will be pull the dash and turn the lights out because I can handle and deal with the uh, occasional miss let's take this thing around the block real quick and drive it if I hear the exhaust right there uh, it comes out right after the converter a little loud but not too awful obnoxious. Runs pretty smooth though. Cruise control works. I got a few little extra things I want to do to it, like you know, rotate the tires. All things I can do from my do myself. I need to spend twenty dollars on a radio, twenty dollars on a uh, coolant fan. It doesn't overheat, but the. Uh, fan gets power to it, but it doesn't kick on. I think that's something I'm going to do today. Actually, I might do that right now rotate these tires because I can do that for free and all I gotta do is just jack it up all right 1996 Chevy Cavalier 2.4 liter engine some engine degreaser in there and cleaned it all off. Yeah, pretty decent. Rev limiter kicks in about 3,500 to 4,000 RPMs. There it is. 